Happy Engineer Week. This is a great week for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and for the nation as we focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. But this week in particular, we're focused on our great engineers. I want to thank all the engineers and all of our teammates that do what the great Corps of Engineers has been asked to do for over 240 years. But I want to start off by saying that this is more than just engineers accomplishing this work. This takes the teamwork of many, many others in order to accomplish some very tough missions that the nation has asked us to do. For over 240 years, we have been engineering solutions to the nation's toughest challenges. And today, I stand here at the Washington Aqueduct, a marvel of Washington, D.C. All of those that drive on this highway are able to see this large castle out here, and many have asked me if the Corps of Engineers has a role there, and certainly you do. In 1859, uh, the Corps of Engineers designed and constructed the Washington Aqueduct, which is where I'm standing. So for more than a million people, the Corps of Engineers provides clean water to everyone in Washington, D.C., including President Obama and the White House, the city of Arlington, and parts of Fairfax County. That's an amazing, amazing accomplishment since 1859 that we have been accomplishing this mission. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has a tradition of excellence in serving this nation in many countries abroad. Since 16 June 1775, when George Washington named the Chief Engineers, up until today, when I serve as your 53rd Chief of Engineers, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has done a remarkable job for this nation. As you know, the Corps is involved in many things, on many fronts. And it would be impossible for me to talk about all of them today. But I want to talk to you about them through the use of a video that shows you the great history of success of solving the nation's toughest challenges by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Clearing America's waterways. Before railroads spanned the country, the new nation of the United States relied almost solely on boats and ships. The Corps was tasked with turning treacherous rivers into waterways safe for commerce. Keeping the shipping lanes free and clear of hazards continues today. Restoring the environment. Rebuild and restore critical wildlife habitats for endangered species, work to control invasive species, and replenish eroded shorelines and marshlands. Reducing disaster risk. Our system of dams and levees helped to decrease the risk of flooding in communities across the nation. Since 2004, these structures, along with local planning efforts, have prevented billions of dollars a year in damage. Working with partners. And when disaster strikes, the Corps stands with our federal and state partners to restore critical public infrastructure. Our 249th Engineer Battalion provides emergency power to help people rebuild their lives. We have deployed thousands of experts to some of the worst natural disasters in America and around the world. Committed to research and development. The Corps operates multiple state-of-the-art laboratories where scientists develop technologies that save lives and prepare our nation for the future. The mission and the tasks for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers have changed with the needs and priorities of the nation. However, our commitment and dedication remain constant in peace and war. And now I'm on the inside of the castle, so this is truly a castle. Uh, I hope you have a chance to stop by and visit it one day when you're in Washington, D.C. It is a wonderful landmark for the Corps of Engineers. And you can see from the earlier video that the Corps is truly an amazing organization. But rather than hearing from just me, I'd like you to hear from the heart and soul of our organization, our people. My name is Charles Johnson, and I'm a project engineer. I'm working for Far East District. Being a project engineer with the Corps of Engineers, I provide a quality assurance over the contractor, make sure the QCs are doing their job with the quality control of the schools, uh, make sure everything is, is going by the specs and the regulations uh, in a safe manner. I am the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. My name is Lori Lull. I'm a biologist. Because every day is a new challenge. Every, every project is a different challenge. Um, there's, there's always something new to learn. I am the Corps of Engineers. My name is Randall Graves and I am a financial management analyst. My responsibilities involve the quality assurance within the resource management office at the Baltimore District. I love being part of a team, especially the team at the Corps of Engineers. It's a very diverse group of people that you get to meet and work with. 
I am the Corps of Engineers. My name is Ida Royer. I'm a project fish biologist at Bonneville Dam. One of my responsibilities as a fish biologist is to oversee the operations and maintenance of the fishways at the dam. The fellow biologists I work with are really great people and we work well as a team and I really enjoy the opportunity to work with them. I am the Corps of Engineers. Our team is involved in work in 110 countries around the world. And what they value most from our organization, beyond the people, is the technical expertise that each of us bring to the fight. And it takes a team to win our business. We have 32,000 people in the Corps of Engineers, but only 700 wear the military uniform. So we're mostly a civilian organization. 35% of the Corps are engineers. So in order for this team to be successful, we require many other disciplines. Our regulatory teammates, those in acquisition, our biologists, archaeologists, information technologists, accounting, human resources, geography, logisticians, real estate, public affairs. We'll need young engineers to help maintain our tradition of excellence in serving the country as each of you have contributed to engineering solutions for the nation's toughest challenges. I'm very proud of each and every one of you and your families that support you. Essayons, Building Strong, Army Strong.